Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Isengard campaign. So, as I set, set my timer, you may see that I already have my four armies. Finally, I reached Bree, guys. So, I actually gave this army, which has two catapults, so I can besiege Bree here. A little bit better, you know, let's say. So, let's start it out. Start besieging. So, the deal here is that I'm not going to attack for now. Uh, just one thing. I would like to know if my diplomats can actually talk to Eridor. Alliance? No, it's very demanding. Map info is really not uh, important, but okay, at least you're happy with me after I provide this. Yeah, that's good. So, the thing about uh, Bree is that I... they still have one army. I really don't want to, to mess with them for now. Uh, so, I can send this army away. That's it. So, this means three armies who are going to go against Michelle Delving. These three armies, and still ha have to reinforce these. And, yeah, as soon as I reach Michelle Delving, then I'll do both sieges uh, at one time. I'm still reinforcing everything. There's still this army here. Harad is giving their last... Uh, Using their last army is possible. I'll fight this army of camera. Um, I'll fight the Emir of Rad as well, and then I'm gonna take Gobble Mirland. In the meantime, over here at Mordor, this one is only in one turn, so probably they'll, they'll try to attack. So I'm gonna take Setagos. That will even up my finances, I believe. And over here, Mortar Fortress is going to take six turns. This one's going to take seven. So in about eight to nine turns, I oh my voice went went down over there. So in a bite, in about in a bite, <laughs> in a bite, I'm going to eat something. So in about eight to nine turns, I'll I'll be ending this one. <laughs> it was a, it was pretty. A, Brutal campaign, I gotta say, and especially fighting on so many fronts. I have 63 regions. Wow, I can actually just go for Brie and for Michelle Delving and forget about everything else. Okay, time for an end turn. We're getting close, finally. Well, if I... I wonder if I can actually make this kind of like a one-hour special for the end or something. Don't know, well, probably battles around Brie or such... Are going to take quite a lot of time, so no. Okay, he's actually, yeah, Mortar is thwarting my um, ability here. He's gonna send Gazrat, and Captain Yagluk is also going to attack. So I'm gonna take Seragos, that's about it. Yeah, that's fine, we'll fight it on the battle map. We'll fight it, don't worry. So, I've been fighting three. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you something. There's uh, there's actually an invasion called on Minas Tirith once more. I may even lose it because there's a huge rune army around it. Uh, rune finally stopped um, being a douche and started attacking us. Uh, they really didn't support uh, too much uh, mortar, you know, considering they are their masters. Well, they were mine as well, but... Considering that they were their masters, they didn't do quite a lot of good work. Now, I have to wonder. I think I'm going to go on this side, actually. Because he's going to try... He is attacking me. And he's going to send his army. Uh, they'll probably reinforce from this side. So, yeah, I actually need my forces to be properly deployed. That's it. Let me send all my foes. Ah, damn it! Misclick there. It was properly. Okay, now they're all properly deployed. And now they would appear from this area. Well, actually, they are appearing from here. Oh, those are Urukai Pikemen. Where are his reinforcements? Over there. That's good. It means I can camp on this hill right there and just wait for them to come. Oh, boys. No fire, flaming ammunition. Yeah, mortar doesn't stand a chance, actually. They never do, you know. In terms of armies, Isengard is much better than Mordor. Uh, not only because they have cavalry, but their Uruks are even better than Mordor. Mordor, all that they have is Olaghai, you know. 
the mortar they always for, for me they always feel like they're they're like the orcs of Gundabad, I would say. You know, they depend heavily on a few key units, and especially they depend on their generals. Actually, it, it kind of reminds me of what happened with the um, with the Byzantine Empire on Medieval Two, where you would on Medieval One. I'm sorry, where you, they they were really bad, but the only thing that they had was a, a proper handling of. Uh, generals, so that's fine. Oh, he's even gonna strike at Uruk Reavers. Reavers are really good at against Olakai. I think a, a, a unit of Reavers with um, with some armor, some extra armor and such, can actually kill a unit of Olakai, if you don't believe me. Just try it out on the custom, custom battle map. Well, if they don't kill him uh, on a battle with a general, they will most certainly do that, if the enemy, of course, has no general. You know, considering all the aspects, especially like Olakai taking some damage like it's happening now, uh, you're gonna see I'm not gonna send anyone else against uh, against these Olakai, but the Reavers are going to cause a lot of damage against them. You're gonna see that. Even if he starts by destroying a lot of them, they will die, you know, they, they simply will die. Actually, gonna stop these ballista from hitting them. That way, you're gonna see the effect of just the reavers against, or the reapers, or the reavers against the Oleg High. That's it. So, what do we have here? Some Moran and God who are actually losing a lot of men. Whoa, those crossbowmen. Wow, 120 now. Let's charge them, charge them. Okay, ballistas and catapults simply stop. Let's attack the Uruk bodyguard there. Reavers charge and charge, and you pikemen charge, and more pikemen even charge. These raiders are gonna attack over there, Uruk bodyguards. Oh, look, I still haven't d got him. Hmm. Now they're probably gonna start finish. I think it was Reavers, now that I think, I wonder. I know they're really good at, at charging them from the back, actually. Well, if he's gonna send some more units against the Olak, these Reavers, then I don't know. It's not gonna be easy. Okay, I'm attacking the bodyguards there, so I'm just gonna move the catapults here so they can start attacking over there. Actually, just manually attack the Uruk archers there. Yeah, there we go. Five of them. They're gonna kill them. Now, everyone here is running away, correct? Yep. Yeah. So these guys, just gonna stop it. Just gonna deploy over here. Actually, you guys as well. Come on, get over here. Pikeman, get over here. You guys, instead of... Berserkers should have kept uh, going, actually. Because they're really fast. Berserkers are so fast, actually. Now, everyone, run in position. Run in position. Yeah, you can see one Olakai. Look at this. And I lost like a hundred. <laughs> of course, if he had tw uh, 12, uh, it would be a different matter. But I think the Reavers, fully upgraded, they definitely can win. Uh, with a general, definitely. Uh, only without no upgrades and the Olakai upgraded will they lose terribly. You know. But it's still, still interesting to see how some units can actually. Uh, Go so well, you know. Okay, ballistas and catapults and that. Let's attack those. Actually, the orc archers. My crossbowmen can do, and they are doing a lot, all the damage. There we go. I almost didn't lose any. I lose like a hundred. No, it wasn't a full unit, was it? Can't remember. But even so, against the unit of Olakai, come on. Now, all, everything that is happening is just the slaughter here with my archers, so that's fine. Okay, gonna step, stop the fire with my archers and catapults, because there's no point. Come on, let me show you. Orc raiders, some maulers here. Guys, please attack there. Thank you. Uh, pikemen as well. Let's take that away. Start attacking. Oh! Time to continue the battle. <laughs> It was really easy, especially with so many, so many archers, of course, of 
Of course they would die. No, I don't have any all uh, any war riders here to pursue, but I'll try to pursue as best as I can. It's on time six already. Come on. Well, I'm not gonna get any other units right now. Yeah, just one or two units, and yeah, I can exit the battle right now. They're still gonna die. You know, there's no point actually pursuing now that I think of it. Come on. Beautiful city. Look at that. <laughs> it would be awesome to see something like this. You know, the, uh, it, it, it kind of feels like Petra. The city of Petra. Uh, in Jordania, I think. I think it's Jordania. Can't remember. But that one is also, you know, carved in stone. It's so cool. Oh, goody. My economy is reinstated. <laughs> That's good. Now everyone is going to start sending invasion armies. Uh, if they capture Minas Tirith, I'm not really too worried. Now that I that I see. Now is oh he suddenly has a lot of armies here. Yeah, Harad is certainly causing me some troubles. Oh, I forgot I could have done that battle. You know, oh, there's the invasion army right there. So I don't know where he can go, but I'll try to block them as much as possible. Uh, I still have one army who can go and defend, um, you know, Minas Tirith. Let me check Minas Tirith, actually. Yeah, Isengard. Well, it's my city. Yeah, here we go. There's Rune army here, which I can send this army, you know, against it. Malicious Wars with the High Elves, with Mordor, War with... The Orcs of the Misty Mountains. Yeah, they just declared once more. Damn it. Well, I won 21k, so I can build up a lot of armies. Now, these guys are gonna... Tr really? He's gonna try to use that as an invasion army? That's fine. This one... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, and he's gonna send this guy. Huh, that's good. So, there's no threat on Bree. That's good. It's really good for us. Now let me check with my diplomat. Is the, the path clear over to Michelle Delving? So it seems. And in Michelle Delving there's not a lot of stuff. There is one general and some Naretimur warriors. Some linen long spears. Yeah, but it's gonna fall in seven turns, pretty much. Okay, there's the Eredar army. I wonder if I can even bribe them. Yeah, that'll be nice. Oh, here we go. There's the... There's the man. Is this... Is this the dwarf from Game of Thrones? It certainly looks like him. Yeah, it certainly looks like he is. Okay, so my advancement has been halted. I guess I can join up some forces now. Since they won't be able to, you know, move too far away. He's over there. Okay. We got Saragost. Let's merge my troops. Destruction, that's fine. Now, I could actually, you know, just I'll resolve this one against this mortal channel. No? Let me move them. Saragost, are you going to have too much trouble? Or are you going to provide me too much trouble? Oh, troll training grounds. Let's sell that. Good. Let me attack here. Auto resolve. Fine. Execute them all. They're almost dead. Okay, what can I stay with here? These guys. 70 pounds. Okay, one more unit. Possibly some pikemen. That's fine. And these guy is actually going to go away. So Thorban is there. Karan, he's going to try and attack somewhere else. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, I can move these guys, and I'm actually going to start building up as soon as possible. This uh, Harad army, well, he still can move. I don't know if I can block him. Let me check. Can I? No, it doesn't look like it. I think he's going to go on the other way around. I think he can go all the way around. Yeah, that's the deal here. 
So he's merging everything here near Amon Athel, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bring all my armies there. But still, have I made all the movements that I needed over here? I think so. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. This guy... Hmm... I'm gonna reinforce Bree there. That's gonna be a good idea. They're gonna start sending a lot of forces against us. But, yeah, I can just recruit a lot of stuff. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to show you a small battle, small engagement here. I could even attack the Haradrim general. But, honestly, honestly, I don't think so. I think I'm better off, like, sending this guy away, uh, trying to attack this rune army, and going uh, over there to Minas Tirith to defend. This army will arrive just in time, in the nick of time, to fix anything in case that we still haven't finished the game by then and I'm gonna defend over here so this army over there you maybe I can actually counter attack uh, I don't think so if I try and go and capture him lad uh, I don't really don't want at this point I don't want to have my armies completely spread out so I'm gonna have this small battle for you guys and yeah then I'm gonna Gonna end up the turn and see what happens. Yeah, let's fight it out. Let's fight it out. Come on. So we got one city. We got twenty k in the bank now. Oh my god, twenty k. That's that means every city or that I have is gonna be able to recruit units. So that's like two armies in just one turn or three, let's say, uh, because some units take three turns, of course. Okay. Basic stuff. I really don't want to mess too much this battle because, uh, you know, Ugluk is under a lot of pressure. Now, I can't remember if there were uh, cavalry units, but I think not. Actually, something like this is better. That's it. Good. Oh, come on. Can't you deploy? That's it. So you're gonna be we're actually gonna group up with this side of the pikeman. Urukai pikeman. You're gonna be over there. You're gonna go over here. Bomb thrower is gonna be over here. That's it. Archers are fine. My archers are good. These guys are gonna deploy over there. Run. These are gonna be on the flanks. Cavalry is certainly gonna go over there. Ugluk is fine, actually. If he's gonna go like this, he's gonna lose a lot of men. He does have a few ballistas and such, but even my archers are kinda in uh, a good position. I think they'll be able to attack him. I don't know, he's... yeah, he's moving in, in range, so he's definitely wanting to, to engage. I don't blame him, actually. You know, against so many archers and stuff, and the catapults, I have the missile advantage, so... It's not like it's a bad idea. Yeah, we are getting his ballistas, so that's good as well. Huh? And his archers are just gonna die there. I'm not gonna push forward with these units. I'm just gonna wait a little bit until my archers clear up his own Harad archers. He hasn't done a single casualty on my side. All that he's managed is to lose his archers. So far, th that's what it seems. Yeah, Haradrim archers getting lost. His ballistas are also getting under, under attack. Yeah, one more ballista there. Hang on. That's it, one ballista. Catapult, you can attack this ballista actually. Archers are doing lots of damage. Now, he appears to be going for a charge here with the Southern Lancers. And they are going to do the most damage, and especially I'm not in the. I don't have enough time to set my men to attack. Let's just watch the them hold. 202, and the charge causes like 80. No, 30. They actually hang on quite well. 
they ha they hang on quite well, I gotta say. Warg Riders, let's attack this ballista, that's fine. These southern warbands, they're not gonna survive so many men. Sir, these Hunter Dream Spearmen, they're gonna die, die and die. Reavers, good thing. Bomb throwers, let's attack over there. Oog look, that's it. It increases their attack, actually. Come on, dude. Okay, you're gonna stop your fire because I don't want to kill him. That. That's it. They are now running away. Most of them are running away. Yeah, let's continue the battle, of course. I'm gonna pursue those southern warbands. And that's about it. Especially because all my archers can do a lot of damage. You are still going to pursue? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's go. Come on. Get those southern warbands and then start pursuing everything. Most of the battle is actually this. Is actually to pursue everything. Ah, oh, that's just so many units. The wargs always get a lot of uh, good, uh, uh, good traits. You know, good, uh, a lot of experience, of course, because they kill so many. You know, capture 300, that's all on the wards, almost. One, I'm, if you notice that I'm micring, it's just because, you know, it's not working as, as it used to, the, the pursuit option. Okay, what do we have yet? How did him spearman? Let's go for it. It's good. You're also trying to attack, which I really don't want. Yeah. Come on. So small battle, but an important one because I don't want Harad to go all around. If it wasn't this invasion, I'm pretty sure that I would have finished much earlier. Much earlier. But still, you know, there's probably going to be just at least one battle before that that I'm gonna have to fight. No problems. Oops. Let me exit the battle before my own fire kills a few of my units there. 131. And mostly it was raiders. Yeah, they can actually withstand a charge from southern lancers, which their the biggest uh, uh, the biggest weapon is actually the charge, of course. Okay. Execute them all. So, as I've said, I'm not going to move uh, Ugluk out of here. Just going to move him over to Nina Destalot. He's probably going to get going to get some reinforcements, I would say. Yeah, I can send him some units. I guess so. Um, I'm also reinforcing over here, but I'll do all of that uh, off camera. This guy. Well, I can reach Kapo Nirwand. Now this changes things. Since I can reach it, I can just sack it and proceed to even sack Remlond or something if I have the chance. And that will cause Harad to, you know, instead of massing his forces over here, Ammonethal, they'll probably just have to send a few pocket forces here and there. And that will mess with his, with the AI's ability. Yeah, I guess that's a good idea. So cheers, guys, and don't forget to leave a like for this Isengard campaign. Nearly the end. Goodbye.